Star Wars Outlaws is one of the biggest new games from Ubisoft in years, other than the yearly Assassin's Creed games of course. I made an earlier video of my review of the game. This is the Star Wars open world game some of us have been waiting for. I personally liked the game and gave it an 8.5 out of 10. For the most part, it does all the small things really well. The main issue I found with it are the main heist missions. They do start to feel a bit repetitive after a while. This video though is a technical review of Star Wars Outlaws on Xbox Series S versus Series X versus PlayStation 5. The game is about 50 gigabytes on all three consoles, so it's not too large by how big the game feels when you're actually playing it. Loading times are up next, starting up from dashboards fastest on the PS5 taking about 36 seconds while Series X takes 45 seconds and the smaller S takes 47 seconds. Xbox though does have a trick up its sleeve and that's quick resume which lets you resume in only about 10 seconds on the series consoles. Now PS5 does have activity cards but for Star Wars Outlaws they don't really seem to work that fast. PS5 does win again for fast traveling but barely about 8 seconds on PS5 and Series X while the Series S takes 11 seconds. Visuals and graphics of Star Wars Outlaws look similar to Star Wars Jedi Survivor. There's some heavy FSR upscaling on all three consoles so the game can look blurry and grainy at times. Xbox Series S doesn't have graphic mode selection while Series X and PS5 do have a quality and performance mode. Xbox Series S has 1080p dynamic resolution and 30 FPS while quality mode on the Series X and PS5 are also 30 FPS but with slightly more graphic details and a higher 1440p dynamic resolution. Native resolution on Series S does drop close to 720 or 800 P, while on Series X and PS5 you'll see as low as 1200 to 1300 p to maintain that 30 fps. Series X and PS5 do have a performance mode which bumps the frame rate to 60 fps but lowers graphic details and resolution to 1080p dynamic. Native resolution here drops closer to 800 to 900 p. Now have a look at this, the Series S at 30 fps looks similar to PS5 and Series X at 60 fps. You can kind of see the detail in the background there. I mean, they do look similar side by side. Frame rates up next and in quality mode, all three consoles maintain a solid 30 FPS for the most part. There's only some sections of the game like the cities with a lot of NPCs where there are drops and the Series S actually gets the worst of these drops. You'll notice a drop to about 25 FPS here while the Series X and PS5 only get a drop of 1 to 2 frames. Performance mode which is exclusive to Series X and PS5 targets 60 FPS but it never holds that 60 on either of the consoles. Both Series X and PS5 get drops into the mid 50s and even into the low 50s at times. The cities are again where the worst performance happens happens on the two consoles. Here there's drops into the mid 40s on both consoles. So this game's clearly suffering from performance issues much like the last big Star Wars game Jedi Survivor. I mean it's still not as bad as Jedi Survivor was at launch but it's nothing to be proud of when performance mode drops to low to mid 40s. Series X and PS5 do have a third mode and to access this one you do need 120Hz display with VRR. If you do have something like that, then the third quality mode in 40 FPS unlocks in the settings. This mode seems to do a pretty good job of delivering close to 40 FPS while also providing decent graphics quality. So if you have 120 Hz display, then this is the way to go with quality mode with 40 FPS. One other thing I want to talk about is how this game defaults to the cinematic 21 to 9 screen ratio, similar to what we saw in the Xbox exclusive Hellblade 2. This essentially just adds two black bars on the top and bottom to give the game a more cinematic feel. You can change to full screen and I did that as soon as I booted up the game for the first time. I mean console doesn't natively support ultra wide screen display so there's really no point in eliminating 30% of your screen with those black bars on the top and bottom. I was curious though as to if the performance and FPS improved in that 21 to 9 screen ratio you know since the console is now having to render about 30% less pixels. Well guess what it makes no difference at all. You can see in this side by side comparison on PS5 the FPS being more or less similar on both 
cinematic and full screen. So that's all you need to know about Star Wars Outlaws on Xbox Series S versus Series X versus PS5. Let me know in the comments what you think of this game. For the rest of the video, check out some more side-by-side -side gameplay with that FPS counter shown. Get over there, weapons data, the amps are all of us. Right, okay. Yes, I'll need to take out these. 